chocolate. I've got a dime bar for each of it. When was the last time you had a dime bar? Yesterday. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, disaster. <laughs> so this way. Oh, so what are we going to do? Well, we don't know. Right, folks, our next port of call is going to be uh, Dun, Dunmore House. Have I got my hat on back to front? I have, haven't I? Oh, hang on. Right, folks, our next place, uh, our next port of call is going to be Dunmore House, which you can just see in the, the distance here, just see a bit of a ruin there. Uh, but the weather is really um, closing in here, man. It's just horrible now. But uh, we're here now, so I may as well just go for it. Dunmore Pineapple is from this way. Redwoods. This is to uh, the sixth earl of Dunmore. There's a big spear along the bottom here. Fortune and fill by Betis. Right. Similar to right. how we're going then through the front, is it? Alright folks, today we're going through the arch window. There we go. 1822. Now one thing I've noticed uh, in this house folks, even though it's very similar to some of the other old houses is this thing down the bottom here, it's like a moat that runs all the way around the side. It's, uh, oh, sorry, Frank. It's uh, ah, an unusual feature. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, quite a few to my gents. I think we're on the bottom floor now. Right, folks, we're actually on the, the bottom of the house here, and this would have been the uh, the kitchen ovens right here. This would have been the very kitchen we're in here. As you can see, they've got these little sort of slots, and there's a big sort of bit that goes up there. This would have been used to heat the whole house as well. It's like a massive agar. Look at the shape of it. There's the arch, the classic arch shape of the, the oven. It's absolutely, uh, this is the biggest fireplace I think I've ever been in, actually. This is the uh, amazing. And, yep. and of course, the bricks. Brick work was used here to. Because brick, brick, start again. Brick retains heat, 
So that's why uh, they, would all, they would have been bricked up all the way around here and just the heat down here would have been immense. Imagine the heat in here, my God. It would have been nice and warm, mind you, but it would have been um, intense. Well, we're in the wine cellar now, folks. The wine cellars, look at this. Space! Right, these are the numbers on the uh, individual wine racks. Yeah, so down here in the wine cellars, man. Um, amazing. It's, there's loads. This just goes on for ages, this. It's really hard to see in here, unfortunately, with the, uh, with the, the uh, lack of light here. But uh, yes, yeah, so there's lots of drips coming down onto me from up above. But this is the the wine cellars. Amazing. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, did you hear that? So that was the uh, the wine cellars just right here. Fantastic. Uh, had a lot of numbers all the way along there, but uh, our favourite wine rack was the Iron Brew Rack. <laughs> we like that one. So obviously there was a vintage year there for the Iron Brew. Entrance to the wine cellar. Well, there you go, folks. That was Dunmore House. It's kind of similar to a lot of the ones I've seen, but it's the biggest, and the wine cellars were amazing there. So, fantastic place to see. Um, so, 1822 was the date we saw on the the wall. Here we go.